Hello and welcome to the channel, Kelly Legends Media. Today we're going to be uh, talking about <clears throat> some videos that came across YouTube uh, regarding somebody who goes by the name of Hector Bravo. He has a he has a a channel called uh, the Prison Guard, and Dubs had him on yesterday talking about the comments he made regarding paisas being chomos um i didn't hear him apologize for making the comment and and really it did nothing for him having him on giving him a, a, that platform to redeem himself he didn't redeem nothing basically dude did it in two separate occasions where he came out and called the paisa car chomos okay uh there are a bunch of chomos anyways comments like that okay <clears throat> uh dudes racist openly you know he, he'll talk about who he wants to talk about call names whatever you know <clears throat> uh i wasn't sure what race he is but he's definitely uh coconut okay um, I'm sure a lot of you know what that means. Uh, he's brown on the outside, I think, I think, and white in the inside, meaning, uh, yeah, he, he, he's prejudiced against his own people, obviously. Why? Because the, the Paisas are his people, people from Mexico, you know? All races have chomos, all races all around the world even the ones that aren't represented on youtube you know it's been happening before medieval times since the spartans <laughs> you know where that were where where they uh the spartans or the athenians whoever they are would have the little boy toys you know it's just been something that's been practiced uh throughout the centuries okay so to 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 single out any <clears throat> one race or group of people as being a certain way is racist, you know. Even something as stupid as you know, uh, all Mexicans are taco lovers. Yeah, we love tacos. Some of us don't though. You know what I'm saying? Why put everybody in a group? Because you're Mexican, you love tacos. Some 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 Mexicans don't even like to eat nothing but vegan. You know, <laughs> you can't you can't just throw some smut on somebody, put a jacket on somebody, and and not be called on it. You know, uh, he talks about dropouts. You know, people who walk away from their organization. He did the same thing. Dude's a dropout in every sense of the word. He was a lieutenant for the Department of Corrections and uh, and dude dropped out. He quit. He quit the game. He couldn't. I think more out of anything, it was fear. And he blamed it on the Department of Corrections. Oh, these policies, they endanger the they endanger the 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 COs. And because of this, that happened to the CO. And man, if a CO is going to get got, he's going to get got regardless of any prison policy. You know what I'm saying? And that's just that's just the, the way of the jungle, you know. So, uh, you know, but he goes around pointing his finger. It's this it's this guy up and up in uh, up here in, in the Department of Corrections. It's this guy's policy. It's a, no, it ain't. No, it ain't. <clears throat> the homies get off when the homies want to get off. You know, they see an opportunity and, and, and a certain CEO act a certain way. He might get got, you know, it's just a, this. Like I said, it's the way of the jungle. So, I don't know, man. You know, I, I've watched a couple of the prison guard uh, videos for the simple fact that he exposes a lot uh, about CDC. And I got to know, I got to know these things, man. You never know, man. God forbid I end up back in there. But if I do, I want to know certain things about the system. Just like I watched uh, when Boxer first came out, man, I watched him religiously. Why? Because all that game he was giving up on the North interest me because i wanted to know everything i can about the other side then comes this priest treaty and then he flipped the switch and now mostly what he does uh 
something he does it about the mexican mafia you know which um that i don't even watch dude anymore you know uh my point is is that he tries to separate himself as being a certain type of human being you know <clears throat> but what he proves himself to be is uh racist there's some cowardly tendencies there's some snitch tendencies and there's a little bit of dropout tendencies you know so i don't know why he's pointing fingers at people who walked away from their organizations or their whatever they walked away from or they're on sny and he's in sny right now you know he's not he's not he's not in with the with the <laughs> He's not in with uh, people that are uh, that are getting down in, in in the Department of Correction. His his ex home his ex homies, the COs. You know what I mean? So you know, dude's walking around with a big old plank coming out of his eye, that's blinding him, and he's going around trying to pull splinters from other people's eyes. You know. Um. This isn't the video I made for the prison guard, for uh, Hector Bravo. Um, uh, yeah, it, it, it's this totally different type of video. It, it's a more calm video. And, and what happened was I was posting my video and then Doug came out having them on, on the air there <clears throat> and, uh, kind of narrowed my path, you know, on, on the things I was going to cover, you know? So I just, uh, Regardless that he came out on Dub's video or not, the dude's the dude's the dude's a real character, you know. Um, he talks a lot of smack about different people, about the way inmates act and stuff, and and he says, uh, you know, they got mental health issues because they don't want to give the trays back. There's different reasons why inmates don't give the trays back, you know. And, and I don't think mental health is, is always the reason. You know, I know it's not always the reason. You know, but he, cho he chooses to, to paint uh, people that have been incarcerated that way, you know, or that are incarcerated that way. You know, he, he talks a lot about things he doesn't know about. I don't think he's a psychologist. I don't think he has a medical degree of any, of any sorts, yet he's, he's making these type of judgments, you know. Anyways, uh, Hector Bravo, I hope one of your one of your so-called warriors shoots you this video, man. You gotta pump the brakes, uh, homie. You know what I mean? You're out of control with with the mud slinging, you know. And uh, you know, if you're gonna claim to be Rasa, man, then claim it and support it. You know, don't 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 act like uh, uh you know. How are you gonna call your own people? A bunch of chomos you know unless that's the way you really feel you might know something that we don't know about uh chomos you know what i'm saying you know you have your own problems to deal with like you like you put out there about your you know you fuck your relationship up you fuck your career up you know and you're fucking your fucking reputation up on youtube man by talking about about races that way you know especially uh your own race that supposedly you are i i, I kind of I don't know, man. I, I'm not sure about that. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to make this video. Uh, let you guys know if you want to see the comments that he made. There's a young man. Uh, he has a, a, a channel called 16 to Life. Put some good videos out. He, he, was, uh, he was convicted and sentenced to 16 years. He ended up doing 24 years. And the Department of Corrections, he's seen a lot of things. He knows a little bit. He's a very young man, or at least he appears to be. And uh, he has the two clips of this uh, Bravo bullshitter, uh, Hector Bullshit, calling Paisas Chomos. Two separate, totally separate occasions, both of them inappropriate. And uh, yeah, like I said, man, uh, You could tell an apple tree by the apples that grow in it. You know what I mean? You could tell an orange tree by the orange the oranges that it produces, man. 
So you could know you know a man by by the 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 things that he says and comes out of his mouth and the things that he produces. And uh, you could go to uh, 16 to life and see for yourself, you know. Uh, dude was way out of line. It's a bad look. And if you haven't already seen and if you don't already know, then being uh, viewers on Kelly Legends Media, you know, uh, now you know. Um, I'd like to know what you think about it. I uh, hope to see you in the comment section. Um, I don't think I'm overreacting. I really don't. You know, actually, this video is very calm. The, the first video is like, I actually, this is my third video. The other two videos I did, the first one was way out. I, mean, I, I just fucking flipped out and went on one. The second video I was going to release, then Dubs had them on there. Um, like I said, I, I didn't. I didn't see it do anything for this dude's character or or uh, to improve the situation. Any, It is what it is, you know. It's out there. He put it out there. It came from his mouth. And uh, like I said, he talks shit about a lot, of, a lot of different people, a lot of different things on this side of the fence, you know. Meaning inmates, uh, different races and stuff, you know. Uh, dude really must see himself really up there high and mighty or I don't know I don't know what causes him to think and act the way the way he does maybe somebody could explain that to me but I see a lot of racism in this dude a lot of telling it's a dropout and a failure and like I said in life from from what he says according to him now not I'm not I don't know the dude so I can I'm just going by what he puts out on the video about his relationship about his career you know <laughs> About people that, that get at him, how they get in, put under investigation and shit. You know, like, that's some bad shit. You know, and then coming on YouTube and disrespecting supposedly his own roots, you know. <sighs> Anyways, be careful with these type of characters, you know. Um, and like I said, you know them by what they produce, you know. Things that come out of their mouth and their actions. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Stay strong. Stay free, whatever it takes, man. I know it's hard sometimes, man. Sometimes I really got to bite my tongue, you know, and, and and want to follow my heart, you know. But um, I got things that are happening in my life that are more important than some J-cat or some drunk ass <laughs> provoking me, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, thank you for watching. Guard your freedom so we could be here for our family and our loved ones so they don't have to be wasting their time and their resources taking care of us while we're incarcerated and, and struggling for mistakes and bad decisions we make in our lives. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you on the next video. God bless you and your family.